I can feel the power, I can feel the power. Feel the power. Yeah, money that is time and hour. Time and so, hour. Yeah, well, I better activate, activate the power. What's going on you guys? Today I'm gonna to be installing some in channel um, rain visors or window visors for my uh, 2009 Toyota Corolla. Um, I just started to unpackage these and they're kind of a little hard to get unpackaged without taking the tape off because the way they vacuum seal these, it's like vacuum sealed and saran wrapped onto the tape. So just be careful I'm trying to take these out of here so you don't rip the tape off of these before you're ready. But they look nice. They're like a smoked out black and they come with Scotch brake pad, some alcohol pads to go with it, and then I guess some instructions. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a microfiber towel and some degreaser. And I'm just going to clean the end of the channels um, just to get rid of most of the dirt real quick. You can see all the dirt inside the window channels. Right, as you can see, the rag was pretty dirty. This, the end of the channels were very dirty. I don't think I've ever cleaned them out. All right, now they supplied some alcohol wipes. I'm gonna prep the inside of the channels with the alcohol wipes real quick. They gave four of them, one for each window. I'm not sure why they supplied this scotch pipe, but I'm not gonna use it because I don't wanna scratch my car up, so I won't use that. You can still see how dirty the end of the channels were even after I cleaned it. All right, so now that we've cleaned the inside of the channels, I'm just gonna test fit. I'm gonna start with the rear one right here and just see how it fits. And then we'll start taking the tape off and trying to put it in. And you are gonna have to bend these in order to get them to fit properly they bend easily and they don't i don't think they'll break easily so all right so it fits pretty good i'm going to take the tape off and then push it back in there and hopefully the tape will sit good
All right, now that I got that one installed, I'm gonna just try to roll up the window real quick just to make sure everything fits good. Alright, I had to pull I had to pull the visor out a little bit. So I know AVS they tell you that you might want to keep them tucked in the window for a few days, help them mold into the shape. Alright now I'm gonna go finish the next one. <laughs> I forgot to mention um like I was saying these mount in the window channel there's a like a rubber grommet piece you want to shove that inside of there and then it's where the window actually rolls up like I said the first couple times you do this the window might hit it a little bit um they just got to form and get to the contour of the window so you might have to just push it out a little bit so that way your window will roll up um my car has manual windows, so it's not a big deal to me. Um, but cars with the electric windows, where they might sense something and automatically roll back down, you might need to try to bend them a little bit, so that way they, um, the window won't hit it as much. And just kind of pull out on it a little bit. And then after a while, they'll kind of push out, and then when your window rolls up, it won't be a problem anymore. All right, you guys. This is what the visors look like after I'm done with them. They look pretty good. A lot of people would say these look like the JDM visors. I guess uh, Toyotas in Japan use something just like this. Um, the in-channel type of visor. I think it looks a lot better than the ones that stick on the outside. They just don't look like they belong. These look a little bit more streamlined and a lot nicer looking. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you guys next time.